What I have for you today is something, <laughs> when I tried it for the first time, made me laugh out loud. Uh, it's a fun little uh, chin rest called the Holstein Freedom Chin Rest from FiddlerShop.com who sent me this chin rest for the purpose of this review. Uh, there's going to be a link down below. You can check it out and uh, buy one for yourself. Well, as you can see, it's quite different than other chin rests. This is the chin rest that I currently use and uh, I've been trying this out for a few hours and this Freedom Chin Rest, what do I have to say about it? It, it makes your chin and jaw feel extremely free. Uh, I can move around while I'm playing and I can talk, I can chew gum, you know, if I have to. The chin rest is hidden and you'll see that really the only part of the chin rest that does anything is this little ear right here. And what I would say about this chin rest, it's a really a jaw rest. So do me a favor right now, take your right hand. This, this is my right hand, not your left hand. You take your right hand and touch the left side of your jaw and find that corner of the L of your jaw right here that starts to go up into your ear, I guess. Uh, the chin rest hooks into that portion. So you're not really putting your chin on the chin rest as much as your jaw is hooking this little ear right here. It's really interesting. And <laughs> I gotta say, it made me laugh out loud while I was trying it. You do feel uh, freedom of movement while you're playing. You could still use a uh, shoulder rest, uh, but what I would say is if you've been struggling, uh, feeling locked into your setup, maybe try this for a change of pace. You know, try it for a week, try it for a week or two. You know, you might learn something from <laughs> the use of this. It's really a specialty item. I think for people who are not using a shoulder rest and are trying to play in a more Baroque style or a Baroque player perhaps that needs a little bit more security. While I'm holding the violin, it does not slip away while I'm using this chin rest. So it does feel secure. I've seen Baroque players play without a chin rest and you know, my fear is that the violin's going to fall out while I'm playing. You know, that's always a big fear for me. You know, don't ask. All right. But uh, this chin rest, you know, it's fun. I would try it. I would buy one. You know, I'm going to keep this one. Thank you so much, FiddlerShop.com, for sending me this one. I really got a kick out of it. You know, I might not be using it because I had some neck issues and I have a really high chin rest to solve some issues that I have. But I, I might give this to a student to try or even a professional who plays more Baroque music. And they might get a kick out of it and really enjoy it. You know, there's... Another company, I think it starts with a K, I'm not going to mention any names, that is going to, going for something like this and going for something like this on the bottom instead of a shoulder rest. This is better for sure. I bought that um, shoulder, the kind, kind of a collarbone thing and a chin rest that, you know, does all these, these wacky things. But if you're looking at that company that starts with a K, I would go with this <laughs> Fiddler Man uh, Holstein Freedom Chin Rest. Again, this is Kava Saidi, violinist and music educator. If you're bored at home, you should be practicing if you're a violinist, but if you're taking a break, click down below. There's some other violin lesson videos and some music I wrote that you might want to check out. I'd appreciate it. 